Hey, today we're going to be making pitas with cheese. So all you're going to need is your pita, cheese, and the trusty oven or toaster oven. Let's get started. So first, we're going to take out our pita. Obviously, you're going to only need one. So just grab a nice one off the bag, plop it down. Now, you got your cheese. So you open up, go in here, and we cut, I'd say about five slices. When you put them on the pitch, you cut them in half like I'm doing. I like cutting them half because it makes them a little smaller, you can spread them out and get them all in the places you want them to melt. I'll just spread the cheese around how you want them and we're done preparing it now time for the cooking so before you start you should actually turn on your oven so I usually put it on bake and put it on 400 degrees Fahrenheit you can put it on how much you want but I like 400 so it could cook faster so now it's time for the cooking of the pizza just open up your oven and place it smack in the middle and let the cooking begin. Your pita should take around five to ten minutes to cook so they cook really fast. So now remember how early we put the setting to bake? Well halfway through when your pita is almost cooked you want to switch it down to broil. This is because when you put it on bake the bottom cooks. When you switch it to broil the top will cook and get the cheese all melted. I do this because one side will be cooked while the other side is like soft so that's why I switch it halfway so make sure the whole thing is cooked properly. It's now about seven minutes have gone by. Let's check on the pita. Ah, oh, beautiful. Let's get a plate. And voila, we have a pita. Now we have to fold it so all the cheese will stick together and it won't get all hard. Here's a fun tip. What I like to do with my pitas is to just give it a little bit more flavor by adding salt. So you can just Sprinkle some salt between your fingers and evenly distribute it over the cheese. And then you fold it over and press it down. That massage in there, you know. And you can sprinkle a little bit of salt on the outside. Don't put too much or else it'll just overkill. So now after all your hard work, you're finally done. The pita. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. And the pita. Alright, I'm Chantal saying, see you guys next Thursday. And happy pita making! Bye! I want a big thank you to all our subscribers because we just passed 100, which is amazing. So we hope you guys stick around and enjoy our videos. Bye!